Hey everyone, the objectives of this video are to define trends in charging discharging systems and to provide the relevant equation for these systems. So, so far we have been looking at our steady state, steady flow processes. So from our open system analysis, if you go back, you will find that the mass flow rate in will equal to the mass flow rate out and there are no changes that occur within our control volumes. Furthermore, they also, these systems that we have been looking at, also occur over indefinite periods of time. So if you look back at the open system uh, first law analysis, we have the equation Q dot minus work dot is equal to uh, the sum of the mass flow rates out times by this term here minus the sum of the mass flow rates in times by their respective enthalpies, kinetic energies and potential energies. Now in this situation, as you can see, is it's Q dot work dot and uh, m dot, we are working in terms of our uh, rates. So this is the kilojoules per second or kilowatts. This is in kilograms per second. So the period, the periods of time are actually not defined at all. How, so what happens when we actually do have our defined periods of time and then after this defined period of time, things are sort of closed off or open, for example? What we have then are transient systems, which, in, which are actually unsteady flow processes. So uh, they are changes within the control volume and furthermore they are also defined over the periods of time. So we no longer work in rates and as such uh, we will uh, not